Welcome back to All the Mods 9. I recently updated my pack and it looks like sodium is in. Uh, if you don't know what sodium is, it's a performance mod. Uh, if you look at the video settings, you'll be able to tell for sure that something's here. A setting that I highly recommend is going into performance here and click this button here. If you turn this on and you hit apply, now when you open your inventory, all of the JEI items that would be right here are going to be gone. So it just saves some clutter. It does save a small amount of performance, but ultimately it's just super cluttered. And I'm glad that I can finally use that option again, just like this side's cluttered too, which uh, I might go ahead and just remove some of these because, oh my goodness. And I'll just add things that I need. All right. That's a bit smaller. Okay. Last time when we ended off, we finished up with the basics of mechanism auto crafting. Then we also made an upgrade here with our pulverizers and nether quartz, which is super awesome. We're already up back up to 25k nether quartz after making that uh, 4096 storage disk. We're still, oh, actually it looks like we're not waiting. So we're no longer waiting <laughs> for items, but we have our 4096k. We have our infinite fluid storage disk, which is super cool. So yeah, we, we are in a pretty, pretty good spot right now. I'm happy with where we're at and that's, it's pretty damn awesome. Uh, I believe we're actually going to go ahead and try to get into upgrading. We're going to look into upgrading our ore factory here, make it a bit faster. We also might add more machines onto it. We're definitely going to need more, I believe. Because, I mean, if we come back here and we look in the ore, this is just what's been sorted already. <laughs> look how much stuff we have still to smelt. Absolutely ridiculous. So we need to get this thing pumping even faster because it is bottlenecking like crazy at the moment. So let's go ahead and do some upgrades for this because we already set up auto crafting for mechanism. So let's search mechanism. And you see here, we already have all of these things being crafted and done for us which is really, really, really cool. So these are gonna be fine. I think even if we upgrade these machines all the way, that's gonna be fine. So let's go ahead and I think this one's okay to leave as is because this one's just getting maxed out. So let's go ahead and just upgrade these machines here. So purifying, crushing, enriching, and then smelting. Let's go ahead and take all of these and let's just upgrade them. I'm gonna go sit over, actually first, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and just go to sleep. Oh, look, our gift. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade these. We're going to upgrade each of these machines as high as we can, because right now we are getting bottlenecked like crazy. And luckily, since we have auto crafting set up, we can just do this and hopefully our machines will just continuously fill up what we're missing. If it's working properly, it will. Or maybe it already did it. I don't know. Yeah, no, it already it already filled up for these. These ones did not fill up. I wonder, I'm really confused with this interface. I think this interface might be bugged, but I hope I hope when we run out of stuff, it'll go ahead and fix itself. Yeah, because there's nothing getting crafted. Uh, but for now, at least I was able to upgrade all the machines. So that's cool. Okay, so we need the purifier, then the crusher, then the enricher, and then the smelter. So we're going to have to set up all of these again uh oh whoops we have to do that and then the crusher so we'll chuck those in there oh my goodness um did i i must have had a ton of ancient debris in there this holy oh it must have just been there Let's just go ahead and put that in my network what in the world oh it's because the dirty gold dust oh my goodness so yeah there's the problem with uh taking machines away is they can cause issues for you as well and also your config gets reset and this is this is a problem that i'm always plagued with i always build the machines <laughs> whenever i build these i always build it left to right but the best way to do it by default config is right to left uh i don't know why i always build my war factory like this but i do so yeah, so, you know, it's my own fault. So we'll go to auto eject on. We need to output and we need to take input here. I hope this uh, will work with the nether the netherite. I didn't realize we had so much ancient debris. I don't know why it wasn't outputting. Maybe because it was just always full. But anyway, at least 
it's going to work now. Okay, so hopefully we can, hopefully we're fixing our bottleneck here. Uh, but it looks like we're going to get bottlenecked just by the ancient debris here. And this is another, this is another thing that I wanted to talk about. So the machines are very, very slow with their eject process. You're on whitelist. Oh, you need to be able to output all the front. So the machines themselves are very slow with what they can transfer. I believe it depends on the level of the machine. So these ones are going to be faster, but I think the best way to do these is to separate them by one pipe and have a pipe in the middle, be it whatever pipe you want, just something that's very fast. Well, because this is still filling up, so that's good. I hope that this uh, will be fine. Oh, it looks like we're at, we're at the max amount for the ultimate crushing factory. Well, we're going to have a lot of netherite, so that's cool. Maybe we want to set up something here to automatically craft netherite as well. Uh, what do I need for that? Uh, instead of outputting here, we could do something like that. So the netherite scrap, I think it's the, and I think it's an, uh, infuser. A metallurgic infuser, I think, can do that. Let's look up netherite ingots. Netherite ingot, I think if you put the netherite scrap in an in, in infuser with gold, yeah, it'll turn into netherite dust and then it can get smelted. Do we need netherite scrap for any crafting res recipes? Quite, uh, quite a few. But not so many that I would avoid that I would avoid auto crafting with it. So I might just go ahead and make another metallurgic infuser. If I can remember how to spell it. I'm just gonna type infuser. Ah, it's two L's. Okay. So metallurgic infuser. Let's go ahead and upgrade this as well. And we're going to output the enriched gold that we're auto crafting into here. So this thing can go ahead and I want it to be able to take. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Oh, well, well, we don't need to put it on this network. Uh, do, let's do the scrap again. We'll just put it on here. We don't do, need to do that. We can put it, we can put it elsewhere. Maybe I'll just put it right here. <laughs> Maybe we'll just put it right next to this barrel here. Or, or back here, since it's right next to the network. And it would be getting power. So we can just drop it here. And we'll do this. And what we'll need is an importer or an exporter. Sorry. So we need one exporter. Well, I guess we do need an exporter and an importer. So we will go exporter and we'll do an importer here. We need cable, which I hope we have. We do. Let's hook up a cable here and this input auto eject on get down there. Okay. So this is output input. So oh, we're going to need two exporters because of the extra that we're going to need. But luckily we can just do that right here. So you can do exporter here. And now since we have an exporter on the side, I kind of want to do both exporters on the sides and we'll just do the importer on top. So for this one, we need to, oh, is the smelter going now? Nice. How's this? Are you going faster than it now? No, you're just keeping up. I think you're just keeping up. You're behind. Oh my goodness. Okay, so these machines are still running behind. So we might need to add another crusher on top just to handle the flow here. A crusher, a factory, and then maybe a smelter. Maybe we just do these three upgraded. Also, I think we're missing a part in this ore factory anyway. I believe we can do one more upgrade to all of this. Uh, so we might also think about doing that as well. Since we have so much ore, uh, we would be able to multiply it even further than... So right now we're multiplying by like, what, 2.6? Because uh, we're turning 3 into 8. So we would be, I think we can get all the way up to multiplying it by four times. So we might want to think about that as well. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay, we're going to need some speed and stack upgrades. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a ton of these. And we'll make a couple stack upgrades. And we will want you to have a stack and a speed upgrade. And oh, for this, actually, we need to do extra for one of these. So we'll do extra on the right here. And we need this to output enriched gold. So we'll do that. And this should get filled up with enriched gold. And then we're going to tell this side, we will do a stack upgrade and a speed upgrade. And we'll, I guess we'll just do speed upgrades here so it can output really fast. There we go. Now we need to tell this to output netherite scrap. And this should start cooking up some netherite ingots. There we go. What the hell? Why is there? Oh, 
to, I was, I was confusing myself with the enriched gold. <laughs> okay, so this is going to start outputting netherite dust. It's really good. And we can just leave this here. So every time we get netherite scrap, this will just craft uh, it, it into netherite dust. And we will go back to the house here. And we'll just tell this to output the netherite dust. Like so. And then it'll just cook up all of the netherite ingots. So now we'll have netherite coming in. We're going to have a ton of it, actually, which is really cool. Yeah, which means I probably want to put it somewhere. Put it right above the diamonds here. So, and we'll do that. Oh, damn it. Not that. We need to make uh, nuggets for it. And then do this. Come on, netherite ingots. So now we can just chuck all this back in. Looks like we're okay. I think we got all of it. So we have 1.3k netherite ingots now. That's cool. Uh, we had like none. So that's really awesome that we have those now. And anytime we get ancient debris. You know, actually, 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 we might want to take this, uh, this right here off of this crusher and put another crusher down. Put a crusher down right here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do here. Oh, what? Oh, I put my wireless crafter away. Whoops. Can I just put this on me? In a curio. There we go. Okay, so let's just make another crusher. And we'll put one right here. Oh, we need lava. Luckily, we have fire seeds. And then we can remove this. And we will put this here. And we will take this off. And then we will do an exporter on that. Oh, actually, we're going to need an enriching factory, huh? Well, okay. So I'll grab this. Grab this. Now we need to make an enriching factory. And the reason we need that is because this is a three-step process and I was only going to do one step and I was going to mess it all up because I'm a dingus. So let's go ahead and get this leveled up too. <laughs> Here's what we can do. Enriching, crushing, and since I placed them properly, so now this will take any ancient debris that we get and it will get put in the... Never mind. I'm silly again. We need to change these two around. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we need to do... Okay, hold on, hold on. We need to do the crushing and then the enriching chamber. Then this will work. Oh my gosh. Okay, we finally got to the step. We got to the proper step. Oh, all right. All right, all right, all right. We're good. We're okay. We're all right. We don't have any more ancient debris. That's totally fine. Now it'll work. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was a that was a process for me. I don't I don't know how I, that was so confusing, but it was. Um, anyway, so we have this set up now just in case any ancient debris comes through, uh, and this will automatically handle it. Because if we left it how it was on this crusher, this thing, as long as we have ore, it's never going to process any ancient debris that we get. So it's worth it to just remove that and make its own system over here it's uh, for me that's worth it okay uh we will want to put some speed upgrades and uh stuff on here uh, and what i'm doing here is i'm just scrolling down to put stuff in and then you can scroll up to take things out so if you do this and say you accidentally put too many speeds if you're hovering over speed you can just scroll wheel up and it'll take any extras out nice how are you doing over here? Are you running out of melons still? We're not actually. Oh, it's because we're full. Okay, so this did eventually even out. That's really good. I was hoping that it would. Uh, I just didn't know if it would, so I was just not gonna say anything about it, but I'm really glad this evened out. We have 524K biofuel in reserve, which is a lot. Good Lord almighty. That is so much. Uh, Can we add that to our network actually? Is that in range? No, it's out of range. Okay, that would be insane. Can we do an upgrade on this to have more range? Right click while crouching to open the GUI. Do I need to take my shield off? Yeah, I do. Okay, we can add range to it. And we'll upgrade them all the way to netherite so we can have his max range for this bad boy. We'll just do this and do this and do this and do this. All right, I think that's, I think that's enough smithing templates. We'll get four of those, and we'll just do that one too, sure. All right. Uh-oh. Need the free hand. Put the bad backpack down. 
toss those in there. Okay, what's your range now? Looking good. That's what it is. All right, so they can't have infinite range, which sucks. But what we can do is lock this, and we can also add this to the system. So now we can see our biofuel. That's really cool. So now we can use it uh, if we need it in any recipe. Sweet, sweet, awesome. Awesome, sweet, sweet. Maybe we also take the brine from here and put it into our network, and then we just output it directly into the machine on the side. So then we can have extra brine as well. That could be an idea. Maybe we'll do an elite exporter on this one. Like that. And maybe we'll also do an elite importer. And we'll do this. Get some cables. And we'll run this over to here. Like so. And this will take fluids. So this should take all of that brine. And what we'll have this do is output fluids and we'll grab some brine if it'll let me drag it into there it won't i'm gonna have to go to our network and grab it i'll also do this and i'll take the exporter put it on top and we will just output the brine out of here or oh, not exporter damn it i always get those confused just go the names import fluids and we'll just import the brine into our system let's go over here and tell this thing to output brine Go. You're getting drained that fast, huh? Maybe we need some speed upgrades on this thing? What in the world? Do you seriously not work that fast? That's crazy to me. Let's make some more speed upgrades. Always need more. So let's do this. And we'll come over here and do this as well. I'm surprised this is that slow. That's crazy to me. Okay, we are overflowing quite a bit. That's nice. We're going to store so much. Jesus. All right, let's break this because we're done with that. Turn this on and we while we do a ponder. Oh, there you go. Infinite fluidus automate mechanism. Well, we're done with that task. I'll take that. You got to say hello to Mr. Cluckington again. What's up, bud? You always jumping over here. Do you want me to take these walls down or something? Are you telling me something? I'll take them down. You happy now? You just gonna turn away from me like that? Come on, man. I thought we was cool. Okay, let's dump this and drop some stuff into here as well and think about our next move. So we were talking about automating mechanism. We were talking about doing the reactor maybe at some point as well. So what do we actually want to do here? That is, that is the question. Maybe... What we should do is check out our chunk destroyer, see how it's doing. See if it is finished. It is done. Holy cow, look at all that all the modium down there. Good lord. And here's the chunk that it kind of missed, this little line here. Um wow, this is massive. Holy crap. Okay. Um Let's check all the modium. Is it better to silk touch it? Or is it better to just mine it outright? So that would give me four if I use the chemical injection chamber on it. So we have the chemical injection chamber, which we can output. We could get four from it automatically. Okay. Let's test to see how much we're getting from one, I guess. It's not coreable anyway. So I got one. Is that every time? With even fortune five. Oh, that gave me three. That gave me four. Okay, so it might be better to just silk touch it then, hey. And I know we could upgrade to vibranium at some point. Uh, but I'm not I'm not too worried about it. I already know where to get it. Uh, I'm just focused on other things right now. So it's not a... It's not a big deal for me. We're not really focused on combat at the moment. I just want to build more machines and get more stuff automated. We should probably upgrade our farm at some point too. That would be a really good idea. I mean, we have the basis already set. We have that harvesting pylon that we can put on the next level. We already have the a majority of... Not a majority, but some of the growth uh, crystals down below. Growth accelerators. 
So we'll probably want to do those, mess with those again at some point. Very nice. Okay, let's go back up here. We There's even clouds down here, man. That's crazy. Look at all this ore. I wish I could just go yoink. So that's what the chunk destroyer is for. That is insane, dude. 16 by 16 and it is finished. It's still outputting too. It's not done. Let's grab this upgrade here. Let's go ahead and turn this into the netherite upgrade. So 64 items per tick. So it'll speed up tremendously. It's going to go out much faster, but that's still so much. Goodness me. And I think if we break it, we lose everything that's in there. I could be wrong, but I don't, I don't want to test that theory. Can we do a network across dimensions? Is that something that we're able to do? Let's, let's attempt it and see what happens. So do you throw our transmitters? Let's put another one here. We will go place our receiver down. See what happens. And let's go ahead and place an importer. Let's make uh, the ultra importer. Yeah, we won't worry about the... Actually, we might worry about this one. Now we can make the mega importer. We'll check that on there. And chuck some speeds on that. Maybe it'll work. Who knows? Do we already have this? Okay. It is in the all the modium mining dimension. Oh man, it's working. Look at that. That is crazy. Look how fast that thing is. I'm so glad that I set up all of those ore to get stored over there because this is just insane. This is insanity. How much raw ore we're getting. Oh my goodness. And this thing is just cooking up a storm with these two. Holy cow. The Greg Tech ores are really going to start filling up, huh? Uh, wow. That is crazy. Okay, we can store millions of those. 500. It's a good thing we increased this one. We're already at 9.4 million. Goodness. There's so much end stone. What can we even do with this to make it worth having this much? Not much. Maybe up here? Make end deal? No, but there's no like... Oh. With Micro Universe Collector from Greg Tech, we can do something. But that's like... That looks like it's super late game. It doesn't look like there's anything crazy that we can do with that. Oh well. Well, we have a ton of that. <laughs> so that's crazy to me. Uh, we'll take... Oh, it glows. Isn't that neat? Okay, maybe we will... We'll go over here and just uh, chuck this into the chemical injection chamber. I'm just chuck this back in there. Yeah, give me some all the modium. We need some. Oh, it looks like we're caught up finally, and this thing can't uh, keep up anymore. Well, it's also doing half, so that's also a thing. I'm going to break this when it's done, and maybe we'll upgrade it one more level. And only one more, I think. So we don't have to worry about it not uh, splitting properly. Because once you go to a higher level and it tries to split across multiple stacks, it might input the, a different type of ore. So I'm just doing this for my own peace of mind. And then you'll have multiple freaking things going. So these are going to be behind again. But at least this will go faster. So I'm happy with this. It'll do the thing. And that's what we want. We want it to do the thing a bit a bit faster. Wow, look at this. These are already all imported, except for that one. It can't import the, that fast enough. Good lord! Oh, man. I feel like we need to make separate chains just for copper. <laughs> that is so much copper, man. Jeez. I don't ever think I'm going to need that much copper. That's insanity. We have 356,000 iron. Oh, my God. That's so much copper. We're going to have over a million copper bars when that's done. Copper ingots. That is crazy. Okay, well, we upgraded our mechanism ore factory, so that's good. But now what do I want to do? I think... Let me check my quests, I guess. Yeah, improved processor. Nice. Um, There's still so much more that I can do. I just don't know what I want to do. Are you still smelting stuff? No. Let's look through these raw ore then and see what we can smelt. That isn't something of a ridiculous process. That turns into dust. 
this turns into some crystals rock salt turns into rock salt pyrite turns into iron okay so let's take one of these raw wolfenites wolfenite dust chromite chromite dust self what is that sphalerite it's zinc bornite is copper so gothites or goethite is iron gypsum gypsum dust sheldonite is that a reference to big bang or is that actually an ore i don't know diatomite turns into diatomite dust garnierite that's nickel interesting tetrahedrite tetrahedrite nickel okay well i'm gonna need a bigger exporter for this for uh, all of these so all of these that i have here can be turned into different types of ore or uh they can be cooked and added to the furnace here to go ahead and cook them up so let's do this and this and you know what we'll just cook these as well i don't feel like putting those through the system i i really i really really do not Oh my goodness, look at that. Need to do um, another stack upgrade on here. There we go. So those are all output, I believe. And we'll do speed on that as well. So we can just output everything. This thing is cooking up a storm. There we go. We're going to have a bunch more ore and everything from that. Good night. That's so much. It's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. Wait, are these seeds taking up actual space? I really freaking hope not. They are. Or do I? I think I have them on the wall, actually, so that's okay. Let's see here. Uh, what do I need to upgrade over here? We're only storing 71k out of the 80k that we have. So we need to make some more upgrades on here. Oh, it won't let me do that. So we'll take these out. We'll upgrade these ones as well. We'll chuck those in there. So 170 mil, that's better. That's more like it for me. 14k. These also need upgrades. Goodness, let's just make a ton of upgrades then, shall we? There we go. We have a bunch of diamond upgrades. So let's go to town here. There we go. All these are full now. That's good. Let's go over here as well. We don't even have this thing fully freaking going. Oh, I didn't even turn this side on. No wonder we're not getting any glowstone. Oh my goodness. That has been off for probably three episodes so like eight or nine hours this side has been off oh my gosh no wonder we had no freaking glowstone holy crap how are our bees in here i need to set up for bottles to get out put into here as well because i need honey so we're gonna need to go under those and put importers on them for bottles let's do this oh you're stuck that's not good. Go over there. Go. Scat. Skedaddle. Can you move? Oh, no, you moved. Okay. Whew. And we'll place an exporter there. And there. Exporter for you. And then we need cable for all of this. Let's do that. Now we need bottles. To go into each of these. So glass bottle. Glass bottle. Hopefully these will fill up with bottles now. There we go. Glass bottle and glass bottle. Because we want to have honey going in to all of those. Or we would like to have honey bottles coming out and going into here. So I hope that fixes it. Do we have we have do we have quite a bit of combs now? We have six hundred and twelve. That is good. That means we can start doing more upgrades with our bees once we get to it. But for now, I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Just wanted to get that little quality of life done there because it was uh, really bothering me. And this thing also we need to get outputting to our system. Oh, goodness. Because we have unlimited... Fl Ooh, you know what we could do? We could actually go under this thing and probably into our lab and we might be able to reach it from here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to be able to uh, hopefully get some cabling. Yep, right here. Very nice. We can just cable all the way over. 
and then we can just drop an importer right here and then we'll have more lava incoming yes this thing is mega slow but it's better than nothing so i'll take it i will indeed take it it's still free lava baby we're just running around improving everything right now and that's totally cool i'm totally fine with that improvement is always awesome so we'll do that and we'll say take fluids and then this should start getting drained there we go more lava coming into the system now hell yeah it's gonna be super super slow um especially because i think these things are going to be very slow filling up oh it looks like these might just be draining yeah they're draining even like the little residue that's coming through here that's cool well thank you create for that i really want to get into create a bit more um but we'll but not at the moment we'll do that later let's go ahead and do that Look at our old little setup that we had going over here. Oh, so cute. So cute and adorable. <laughs> All right. Now, before I move towards maybe doing the reactor, I'm going to go ahead and cut things here. I know this is a rather short episode compared to what I usually output, but the next part of the footage is me going over and starting to work on the mechanism fission reactor and the turbine generator and i'd like to have all of that stuff included in just its own video because it is very complex and it was a very tough time for me because i've never messed with it before so i learned a lot and i'd really like to have that as its own separate thing because then I feel like that video has a full focus. This episode was more so just going around and improving everything, which absolutely is necessary, but I don't want to also put me working on like mid to end game stuff from Mechanism at the end of this. I just feel like it wouldn't fit well. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut here. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.